what's going on y'all I know I'm late you know but this is my soul train awards recap I've been kind of busy lately you know for good reason the awards taped this past Wednesday in Atlanta and I was there so this is my recap give you all of the scoop on what was going on in the doggone venue backstage on the side outside with the doggone limos like I got it all <laughs> you know what I mean so um Let's start off with the top. Um, oh, yeah, let me give y'all my lineup. So I'm sitting on my row. I got India Irie to my left. My BFF Dougie Fresh to my right. Oh, yeah, and Eric Benet's wife is to the left of India. So my whole row is clowning. We got Biz Kick Free. Everybody's all around. So we just acting a fool. Tyler Perry was in the house with his date. Um, and um, we're going to start it off. Our Kelly started off the night. Um, I was an hour late to the show. And I got there just as our Kelly was going on. So. The show started an hour late, and it ended at 1.45 in the morning, which is crazy for a taping to start at 8.45, but we're not going to go there. We're going to deal with everything else. R. Kelly rocked it. I love R. Kelly. I mean, you know, say what you want about him as a man. When it comes to that pen and produce, production and writing songs and making hits, man, can't nobody touch him. And he came back, and you know, I love that song. When a woman loves, she... She loves for real. Okay, so he opened it up and it was on and popping from there. Taraji and Terrence Howard, you know, they were the hosts and um they got their little their little back and forth banter going on. I like them two together. It's real good energy. They do a real good job. So they were very good. And um then there was the Anita Baker tribute, which was crazy. Like, they, t t Tamia came out, and oh my God, not only did she look beautiful, her voice was flawless. Flawless. And you know, if you don't know, Tamia's bout, and I, I believe it's MS, multiple sclerosis. So it was good to see her. I think I don't think anybody expected to see her, and she came out, she did her thing, she represented it. It was Chrisette Michelle, uh, Layla Hathaway, uh, India Irie was going crazy to the left. Like, she kept jumping up. I was like, India, calm down. She was like, yo, it feels so good not to be able to perform and just watch this show. And she was like, yo, her voice is crazy. Dion Ferris, oh my God, she was serious. Um... The barge, El the barge was there, and you know, and Anita was going crazy in the audience. She was like, you could tell when somebody really appreciates somebody singing their songs, and you know that they're singing them well. She made a very valid point about people singing on this award show. I don't know if there was a memo. There was no lip singing, no doggone CD tracks. Like every, there was a live band. It was a very, very good performance. Anita got up. Way past Duke came with her two sons. She gave her acceptance speech. She was so happy. She was up there just thinking everybody and talking all this. Then in the middle of her acceptance speech, she goes, oh, my God, it's Dougie Fresh. So I'm looking at this fool like, she just don't know what she did to his ego. <laughs> so, no, sir. Um, so that was the highlight of the night. And then, um, yo, my favorite performance of the night has to hands down go to Eric Benet. He sung that song, Sometimes I Cry. That song is on fire right now. It's like one of the hottest songs. And he was all in it. And he, like, yo, the, everybody was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, go, go. And he was like, Sometimes I Cry. <laughs> you know, like that. Like, he was really singing the song. But, uh, Yo, that song is crazy. That's a big, big song for him. And I'm happy. And his wife is real pretty. Actually, I think she's prettier than Halle Berry or his girlfriend. I'm not sure if he's married her, but she's a very nice girl. And she's a Virgo. Virgo's in the house. You know how we get down. But anyway, that was a good thing for the night. Um, my bullshit, whack-ass, mofo, use a clown award goes to, and this is my award. And then, you know, on behalf of Don Cornelius and Kim and Shut Up, I want to give this award to Rick Ross because his clown ass refused to perform because he lost the Best Rapper award to Eminem. Like, Pharrell B, seriously. Like, you're not going to perform. I mean, honestly, nobody really missed it because he was supposed to perform before the Ronald Ozzy tribute, which went on at like 1.30 in the morning, and we was already so many hours overdue. But you got Chrisette Michelle waiting in the wings because she was supposed to sing, so they were supposed to do the Aston Martin song. Now, she feels some type of way because she writing blogs like you clown-ass mofo and all of this type stuff. And it was just a real bad look for hip-hop, and he was a clown. And I mean, he was there with DJ Khaled, and I don't even know DJ Khaled, but he's just so annoying. We the best! We the wackest 
as far as I'm looking at it. So, Rick Ross, mm -mm, so unboss like that goes for him. CeeLo performed in all his Liberace glory. Yo, Gip was in the audience with a fucking hat on that looked like a lampshade with the little tassels hanging from from back in the day. Y'all remember the old school draped velvet and stuff? Like, I don't know what was going on with the get up and the wardrobes, but um, CeeLo got up there with a whole bunch of people performing, you know. And I believe he did that F you and I F you too. Um... Erica Badu performed. I was backstage talking to Wolf Blitzer from the Situation Room. So I didn't see her performance. And I didn't hear too much coming from the other side of the drapes. But everybody else is saying that she put on, like, her performance was crazy. I got to check that one out on the retape. Well, when they show it. Um, then they did the Ronald Isley tribute. And um, that was cool. It was good. It was late. Um, they had Jeffrey Osborne, Peebo, and Freddie Jackson. Jeffrey Osborne looks really good. Peebo, he looks, hmm, I, I don't know. He looks kind of pulled or whatever. And Freddie just looks, but I think Freddie, I, if I recall correctly, he was sick or something about a liver transplant or something like years ago. So I don't know. Oh, Raven Simone was there and she looks beautiful. Oh my God, she looks so, 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 so good. Um, There was a lot of people going on backstage and, you know, like, um, What's the little short dude? Blackberry Molasses. What's his name? Bobby V was back there. And um, Kia Shine was back there with his beautiful pregnant wife. Um, a lot of stuff going on backstage. The Kimbe Mutombo. Is that his name? The basketball player. He was there. Um, so, you know, there was a few people back there playing around. Keisha Cole looked beautiful. It was so great to see Keisha. Faith was in the house. Faith came through. Uh, Faith was on some old glam. Like, Faith sat down in the chair. Let me tell y'all. Yo, she had Misa there, her stylist. She had the makeup girl there, the hair people there. So, she sat in her chair at the doggone thing. And they all, like, this touching up. And I'm like, didn't they do that before you walked in the house? So, what happened from you walking through that door and sitting down in your seat that you need to be touched up? But I feel you, Faith. If you coming back, come back on your diva shit, boo. But that was a little Hollywood and extra to me, personally. Oh, yeah, Melanie Fiona won for that song. And it kills me woo, to know how much I really love you. It makes me wanna ooh, ooh, ooh. Yo, she won and, um... Her parents was off to the side, and they jumped on like, yeah! Ain't nothing like seeing a parent dog going happy for their child. So I was glad. I think that was well-deserving for the, uh, I believe she won Best New Artist. So, overall, I give the Soul Train Awards a 10. I'm telling you, it airs November 28th on Centric, and I'm saying to watch it. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to tape it. Very good performances. I can't wait till next year. And um, that's about it. So... There it is. My recap. Late, but still here. So, um, y'all check it out, y'all. Good entertainment, good show. I Actually, I take this back. It's one of the best award shows I've seen in a long time. So, BET, take note. Because, um, Soul Train, they did the damn thing this year. Can't hate.